Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Eileen with Unique Gifts and Decor by Lady Di. It's still Saturday, you guys. I am hoping and praying you guys are enjoying your day. If it's hot out there, I hope you are making sure you're drinking plenty of water if you're outside. But if you're not outside, I hope you're inside where it's cool, where you got the air going or whatever you got going on. You're just relaxing and enjoying your day. So I'm coming back with you guys today with another concept. Um, trying to knock these Father's Day baskets out of the way so that I can concentrate on something else, okay? So um, this concept that I am using these white buckets that I got from the uh, dollar, I mean, excuse me, Walmart years ago. Um, and I, I have so many of them, so I'm trying to kind of use these um, inexpensive buckets so that I can get them out of the way as well. So what I am going to do is kind of do this kind of green um, and white theme concept here. So first of all, um, I did put my um, contract paper inside of my bucket as I usually do. Top it off with some tissue paper. And I have some kind of green um, and lime mixed shred. This shred that we got from Walmart during the Easter uh, sale that was 90% off. So I got that. Now on the back here, I've got one of my backers, which is one of my um, gift boxes. I got from Walgreens during, in January. And I have right here is a bath towel that I have put together and I draped a white hand towel on top of that. And I just tied it with a green bow. So that is my backer that I already have set up right now. I have one of these travel bags that I got um, from fam, uh, excuse me, the Dollar Tree. Now they probably have them in the stores now. But I, this is the one that I had from a previous year. So I'm just going to add that to the um, basket here. And I am going to see if I can put a glue dot on here so it can stand up straight. So it won't lean over. So we're going to see how that works there. Also, I'm going to add one of these games that I got from Pop Shelf. I got a bunch of these during the... Uh, 90% off when it was during the Christmas season. So we're just going to add one of those to um, this basket. Now some of these games can be um, available for a man to put on his desk or, you know, if he's sitting in his man cave, you know, just kind of watching the game or whatever and just kind of, you know, some people got to use their hands all the time. So that's just one of, um, that's a good reason for that. Now I have this blue, I know it's out of color, but this, I don't have any more clear ones or the gray ones. So I've got this water bottle that I'm going to use here. And because it has blue on the top of that game, so it kind of um, co co coordinates that way as well. So I'm going to make sure i got a glue dot on here so it will stick to the towel so it won't lean over. Um, Let's see what next I got. So I've got these power um, stick wipes that you can get from the um, family dot, uh, excuse me, what family dollars on my mind? I guess because I shopped there this week, but I'm talking. Um, I got those from the Dollar Tree, so we're going to make sure we've got a glue dot on the back of this so it can stick to the um game. Now I've got this Next Gen Pure Natural Hemp Seed Oil Body Wash. These are on set. Uh, these are at the Dollar Tree, and it is an 18 full ounce. So it is a large bottle. So we're going to put that right here with the glue dot and we're going to secure that to the chain. Also, I have the hemp uh, soil, excuse me, hemp seed oil body lotion. And that is a 12 ounce bottle. And that is also from um, the Dollar Tree. So we're just going to secure that one to each other. Now, I've got these um, washcloths I got from Family Dollar. It's four to a pack for a dollar. So I'm just going to lay those right there on top. Um, I've got this loofah that I got from Walmart. It says the men body sponge. So we're going to lay that right here. 
and I might need to just put a glue dot so that it will attach to something <laughs> so it won't move. Um, now these are the watches that I got from Shane. Um, I think it was four of them that I got that did not come with the boxes. So what I'm going to do is lay this right here and I've got a glue dot on there on top of the washcloth, okay? Some that I purchased had the boxes and some didn't, but you know, I'm just improvising right now. So I've got some Dove um, body soap and I've got the Dove uh, cream for men. So we're just going to lay the um, soap right in front of the wipes. And the men's care cream. I'm just going to lay this right in front of the watch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so you guys, this is how it's looking so far, okay? Very simple, easy concept to put together. So I am going to shrink wrap this one as well. The bag that I am using is a 24 by 30. They're from the Purple Q Crafts on Amazon. So I've already got it started here. So I'm just going to... finish up right quick and I'm going to zip tie it well not zip tie it excuse me I got my pipe cleaner I don't know where my zip ties are you guys they're somewhere around here so I've got that um, secure. Now I want to make sure that I got the side taped down. So I've got my tape here. Take the sides up under the bucket. out all the air. I hope I did. If I didn't, I'm going to put a slit in here just in case. Make sure I get all the air out. And sometimes if you don't get it all out, it's okay. You can go back. Once you see where you, when you shrink wrap it and you see you have some air in it, you can just slit a hole in it at that time as well. So we're going to do the use the heat gun and see if we can get this taken care of right quick. So just bear with me, you guys. I hate when that shred comes out. I'm gonna put that back inside the bucket. A hole in my bag just for that. Oh. Okay, here we go.
Okay, you guys. So this is a bow that I made. Now I, I did this one kind of different. You all know I've done two separate bows. I did one of the bows. Let me show you guys what I've done in the past. <clears throat> Sorry about that, you guys. I should have had this ready, but I do apologize. But this is one of the bows that I did, you guys. A concept that I showed the bows, like this, um, just cutting the slits on the bows and doing them uh, and, and making a bow like this one. But what I did, I kind of put those two concepts together. So I did the slits on the bows and then I did a regular bow. So this is how this one has come out. I try something different. You know, I'm always experimenting, you guys. So I can show you guys on a later video of how I did that one. So if something, that's something that you all might want to do going forward. But I thought I would just do some little experimenting and see how that's going to turn out. But I think it turned out really well. You still got your loops from your original bow, but then you also got these slit bows i don't know what you i don't ha i haven't found a name for this kind of bow maybe it's a i know it's a funky bow but i don't want i don't want to call it a funky bow but anyway <laughs> so here's this concept you guys what do you think about this one um very easy to put together um if you have some of these items if you know you can definitely um use some of the hemp seed oil items um i have the watch in there to kind of make it a uh, like like it looked kind of a little expensive but it's not that expensive okay but you guys let me know what you think about this concept and tell me what you think about this bow because it's a different bow that i've ever done before okay a girl is experimenting today okay so let me know what you think please like share comment um subscribe if you have not as you all can see i am putting out these videos today my goal is to have all of my video all my baskets completed by monday um, I've got had about 15 that I had left because I'm only doing 35. So um, I had 15 that I needed to do within the next two days. So y'all bear with me. <laughs> and I hope I don't come up with any other concepts because, uh, you know, I will walk around here and look at my stockpile and see if there's something else that I need to add. And, you know, then I'm going another direction. So I'm trying to stay on course, you guys, okay? So thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share, comment. Let me know what you think. To the next video, you guys have a great evening. And please be blessed. Bye-bye.